sets, set notation, and Venn diagrams. Vocabulary and set notation. A set is a collection of well-defined objects. Objects in a set are called elements. Let's talk a little bit about sets. Sets are usually denoted with an uppercase letter and listed within brackets, also known as curly brackets. An example would look like this. A is equal to the set of integers negative 3, negative 2, 0, 1, and 4. Each individual integer is known as an element. Let's talk a little bit about elements. This mathematical phrase right here means that 0 is an element of set A. 0 is contained in set A. When I go back up here and look at set A, I notice that 0 is contained within the set. This next mathematical phrase means that 2 is not an element of set A. 2 is not contained in set A. So when I go back up here and I look at set A, I notice that 2 is not listed among these five numbers. So this phrase means that 2 is not an element of set A. Vocabulary and set notation. Sets can be expressed in different forms. One such form is known as the statement form. A statement form is defined as a written statement that describes a set of numbers. An example of a statement form would be this. Set B is defined as the first five counting numbers greater than zero. Another option is the roster or tabular form. That is defined as a list of numbers contained in a set written in between curly brackets and separated by a comma. This is an example of a set notation in roster or tabula form. Vocabulary and set notation. We're going to look at three phrases. The first phrase is the phrase universal set, also known as the universe. It is denoted by the Greek symbol gazai or the English letter U. The definition of the universal set is a set of all elements that need to be considered in the problem. This unit will primarily use the Gazai symbol. The next phrase is the empty set. It is denoted two ways, null, which is zero with a slash through it, or the empty set notation, which is curly brackets with nothing in between. The definition of empty set is the set that contains no elements. An example of how this would be used would be B is equal to null. B is an empty set. The third phrase is cardinal number, denoted by the English letter N. The definition of the cardinal number is the set of a set is the number of elements contained in a set. Here are two examples. If A is the set of numbers negative 3, negative 2, 0, 1, and 4, then the cardinal number of A is 5. There are five elements within the set. B is the empty set, so the cardinal number of B is 0 because it contains nothing. Subset, denoted by this symbol right here. A set is a subset of another set if all its elements are elements of the larger set. Here we have two representations of set A. One is written out as the set of natural numbers from 1 to 10. If we use roster or tabular form, set A is equal to, we have curly brackets with the elements or numbers 1 through 10. Set B can be noted two ways. It is the set of natural prime numbers less than 10, or using roster or tabular form, it is the elements 2, 3, 5, and 7. All the elements in B are a part of A, so B is a subset of A. Over here on the right-hand side, we see a Venn diagram illustrating what a subset looks like. All of the elements 1 through 10 are included within set A. Set B is a special set of numbers here in the blue circle that are part of A but also part of B. Therefore, B is a subset of A, not a subset. Denoted by this symbol right here, which is the same as the subset but with a slash through it. A set is not a subset of another set if not all the elements are elements of the larger set. So here we have set C denoted two ways, statement form or tabular form. In statement form, set C is defined as the set of natural odd numbers less than 10. 
in tabular or roster form, set C is 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Noted right here in this Venn diagram. Notice that 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 are all part of set C. We also have set B defined also in two ways. Set B is the set of natural prime numbers less than 10. That's in statement form. In tabular form, it would be 2, 3, 5, and 7. And here we have in set B, we have 2, 3, 5, and 7. Not all the elements in B are part of C. For example, 2 is not, in, is not an element of C. So B is not a subset of C. Proper subset denoted by this symbol right here. A set of elements that is a part of a larger set and at least one extra element exists in the larger set is known as a proper subset. Here we have set A defined in two different ways. In statement form, set A is a natural set of numbers from 1 to 10 or set A in tabular or roster form is the set of numbers 1 through 10 written this way. And here we have set A with all in yellow, including all the numbers from 1 to 10. But we also notice within set A is set B in blue, and that contains a set of numbers which are also part of A, but set B in statement form is the set of natural prime numbers less than 10, or written in tabular or roster form. It's 2, 3, 5, or 7. All the elements of B are a part of A, and A contains more elements than B. Therefore, B is a proper subset of A. And again, we see this in the picture here. All of the elements in B are also part of A, and there's more elements in A than in B, so A or B is known as a proper subset. Venn diagrams. A Venn diagram is a diagram representing mathematical or logical sets using circles within an enclosed rectangle. That enclosed rectangle is the universal set. Here's an example. If the universal set are the numbers 1 through 10, and C is the powers of 2, 2, 4, and 8, and D is the null set. This is what the Venn diagram would look like. The rectangle, the universal set, represents what we defined as all the numbers from 1 to 10. C here is enclosed in a circle. This represents the powers of 2, 2, 4, and 8. D is null. C and D are subsets of the universe, or universal set, and D is an empty set. The cardinal number of C is 3, because it contains three numbers, and the cardinal number of D is 0. It contains nothing. Example 1, Venn Diagrams. Create a Venn Diagram to illustrate the given information. Our universal set are the elements 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Set A is defined as 0, 2, 3, 7, and 9. And set B is defined as 1, 3, 7, and 10. I'm going to pause the video, take a minute, and see if you can put the proper elements into the proper set. If you've had time to put the answers into the proper set, I'm now going to proceed. This is what the proper answers would look like. Set A contains 0, 2, 3, 7, and 9. Set B contains 1, 3, 7, and 10. Why are 7 and 3 contained in the intersection of set A and B? That's because they are contained in both sets. Notice that 4, 5, 6, and 8 are outside of the circles. That's because they are not in set A or B. Example 2 of Venn Diagrams. Create a Venn Diagram to illustrate the given information. The universal set are the elements 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Set A are the consecutive numbers 4, 5, and 6. Set B are also four consecutive numbers 7, 8, 9, and 10. This is a good time to pause the video and try this on your own. Can you put the proper elements, the proper numbers, into their proper places in the circles or in the universe? 
if you've had a chance to successfully put the numbers into the proper circles or proper places in this set notation, I'm going to proceed and show you what the answers look like. Notice that set A does contain 4, 5, and 6. Set B contains 7, 8, 9, and 10. The numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3 are in neither circle because they are not contained in either set. They are part of the universe, but they are not in set A nor B. Example 3 of Venn diagrams. Here we have a picture of the universal set containing all of everything you see within the rectangle. Within the universal set, we have sets A and set B. Your job is to list the elements in the universe from, for this problem. Number two, name the different sets involved. Number three, determine the cardinal number of A. And B, find the elements of a subset that is in both A and B. This is a good opportunity for you to pause the video before I reveal what the answers are. If you are able to write down the answers to these four questions, Let's proceed and find out what those answers are. For number one, if we're listing the elements for the universe in this problem, it is the following numbers, negative 12, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 17. Number two, naming the different sets involved, you should have written down set A is negative 3, negative 2, 1, and 5 all the numbers within the circle A right here. Set B is defined as negative 3, 4, 5, and 6. Again, all the numbers within the circle here. You'll notice that negative 3 and 5 are in both sets A and B, so they are in the intersection of sets A and B. Number 4, determine the cardinal number of A. A contains four numbers, 1, 2, 3, and 4 so the cardinal number of A. And also we want to find elements that are a subset in both A or B. And that would be the intersection point, the numbers that are in both sets, negative 3 and positive 5.